I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing, and right now I want to talk to you about improving your punching power. And the only way to really develop maximum punching power is to improve your punching technique. That's the only way. Um, you can do conditioning, you can increase your strength and power and, and lift weights and, and do push-ups and all that, but the thing is that your muscles have a limit, okay? Your muscles can only get maybe two or three times stronger at the max. So for that reason, the muscles is not the best way to improve punching power. If you really want better punching power, you need to improve your punching technique. And the reason why is because your body has so many movable parts. Just by changing the way that I turn my wrist or lift my elbow or turn my ankle, you know, all these little things improve my body's efficiency. Uh, efficiency in using the, you know, the body's leverages so in the limbs and arms and muscles. So just by improving my technique, I can easily increase my punching power, you know, five times, ten times even. If, you know, if the technique is that good. And that's really the only way to go about it. If I was to see a, a beginner boxer, I could easily give him adjustments, just leg adjustments, shoulder adjustments, and within five minutes he'll be hitting twice as hard. But if I give him a workout routine, it's going to take him two months before his muscles get twice as strong and he punches twice as hard. So again, technique is the key. Um, and how do you go about technique? Well. If you want better punching power, first, key things about your technique. One is, you want to find technique that uses your whole body, you know. Technique that uses only one part or only one limb, only one muscle. That's not as finding way, um, it's not as good as finding a way to use your whole body when you're throwing a punch. Entire body, okay. A uh, second thing is, you definitely need to find a way that makes you more grounded. Because you need to transfer power. Part of a punch has a little bit of a push. You know, so when you're at the very end of your punch, you want to be in a position where you can transfer maximum power. So for example, if I'm standing here, okay, both my legs are bent, I can transfer a lot of power. If both my legs are straight, it won't transfer that much, okay? Or let's say I'm like this, my back leg is straight, I can't push anymore, but if my back leg is a little bent, now I can, now I can feed more power, I can transfer more power into the punch. You also uh, want to rotate the spine. Whatever technique, whatever punching technique you use, you want to rotate the spine. Because rotating the spine, okay, rotating the spine allows half your body to, to go forward into the punch. The other half of the body goes opposite and, and helps the rotation, increases the power. When you're just here like this, it's a pure muscle punch. There's no rotational power. Okay, uh, another tip is that you want to use gravity. Find a way to get to use gravity in with your punches. Okay, gravity goes down. So let's say I want to throw right hand. If I could, you know, drop my weight and fire it, that'd be great. Now I don't have to punch like this. I can punch like this. My, the hand can go here, but the power has to go down. Okay? The power has to go down into the opponent. If I throw a punch where my where my power goes up and against gravity, then it's not, it's not as powerful. Uh, lastly is accuracy and timing. So this is, this is what the pros do. This is how all the pros hit so hard because they, they rely on accuracy and timing. Um, when you hit an opponent, you know, where are you hitting him? Is it square in the face or is it at the very tip of the chin? Okay, if I hit someone at the very tip of the chin, it only takes a little bit, it'll turn their head, they really feel that power. So for beginners, you know, you have to use your eyes. You have to see, like, where are you aiming? During a fight, it's easy to get, you know, it's easy to panic. And um, you just want to throw punches. You just want to hit your opponent. But if you can look, you know, pay close attention and aim straight for the chin. Or when you go to the body, when you aim at the body, don't just throw anywhere in the body. Throwing right here at the chest is not as much damage as down here. And when you throw in the stomach, maybe you want to aim at the solar plexus. Or you want to aim at the ribs or liver, kidney. So where are you aiming? Work on your accuracy. That, you know, that really determines how much of that power is actually going to really affect your opponent. And then lastly, um, the timing. You know, you can be as powerful as you want, but if you're throwing the punch when your opponent is leaning away, he's not going to feel it. But if you can time it so that he's coming forward at you when you land that punch, it's really going to affect him. So that's the bottom line. That's all it really is. It's technique, accuracy, and timing. And then where conditioning comes in is that, you know, a lot of boxing conditioning is really about endurance. Once you have good technique, you just need the endurance to keep it up. And that's what makes the difference. So work on your punching technique, that's going to make the biggest difference. 
And then once you have good punching technique, then you can work on conditioning so that you can keep it up the entire fight. So that's it for this subject. Thanks for watching.